something. Uh, they have Hooksy replacing Alexi inside of the ramp. And they have JKS potentially playing upper anchor in place of Jax. So we'll see if that's the case. And it looks like actually Hooksy is upper and JKS is ramp. So these are... In burst. Yes, a couple of new spots. But it probably is their own choice. Holding off on the full blown. Molly comes in, flash goes deep. It's all about getting through that smoke. Are they going to drop Ben? Smoke would lead you to believe so. Oh, Nico's ready. Oh, wow. Magisk wins that duel. And had he not, Zaiwu was right there, ready to attack it from behind. JKS, poor guy, gets gushed at a distance. So that's the plant on the B site. Sphinx deletes Hooksy as if that's the guy that Hooksy's got to try and topple point blank. Another gush. Just a bare bones thread keeping Monacy and JKS alive in this 3v3. Which means a lot of it's going to have to come from Hunter, you'd think. He has managed to get past the vent, delivers the first, but then the reload, that's where it costs him. And Spinks looking for another impactful pistol. He'll take two kills, Magisk ends it, and Vitality start the T-side strong. That was kind of a cool little pistol right there where they, they threw the smoke to get out, and normally on rounds where you have lots of utility, it's hard to do a quiet event drop because people will spam, people will throw nades, but on these semi-automatic pistols and without having any HEs or Molotovs to slow you down, they kind of just walked out and down. And Magis was also careful to drop on the right side of the vent and peek out a little bit to the left, make that as hard as possible for Nico, even though he was waiting. So, seemed like it could have been a good counter, but overall, really cool idea here from Vitality. The one MP9 sitting on top of the hut, but it gets lit on fire just like it did in the pistol. And this time it actually forces movement. A lethal situation for Hunter. Mac 10 in the hands of Zaiwu, trying to charge him down, and sure enough, he makes money off Monacy. JKS gets into the corner. Nowhere to run, brother, nowhere to hide. P250 trying to stand this. He'll fight back. Nico with a deagle. Ooh, two deegs, in fact. A good distraction served up by JKS. Hooksy wins the fight with the ah. MP9. And all of a sudden, this conversion from Vitality has been upended. Sphinx is going to have to deliver the clutch. Nico. We tagged him. Uh-oh. What's that? AK grabbed. Nine shots in the magazine. 40 seconds to figure this out. The problem is the low HP. 39 health here for Sphinx. It's actually super difficult for Sphinx to commit to lower just because of a player who could be in decon. But he also, I think, feels like it'd be obvious if he went upstairs. Now, this is actually a really good call, I think, for the CT side to rotate the way they are. Hooks, he's got to deliver. Yeah, exactly. It's an easy kill, like you said, somewhat obvious. But he tucks into the lobby, and that opens up the back sight plant if Sphinx wants to take the risk. Yeah, let him have that. Oh, he got the silent drop. Wow. Full. Oh, my God. And he's got a little bit of time. Ooh, nope. Goes back around it. Hooksy's made a step. He made a step, but then he walked. Now Sphinx has a chance. If he gets the headshot, that would have been something. But it's Hooksy instead to keep it clean and to give G2 a quick boost. God damn. He had the silent drop and nearly caught the chance to catch Hooksy off. And uh, a couple of X-Factor kills from Hooksy. It's refreshing to see. I think that swing from with the MP9 inside of Squeaky, of course, that's where it could have ended. But he made sure that that wasn't going to be possible. So already a better showing here. Damn, Zonic sometimes got the real disappointed dad vibes. Uh-huh. But that's what you need behind you. Tough pill to swallow for Vitality coming off of that first map. A one pistol round. All is good until JKS P250s you in the forehead and Nico sitting back sight. Team Vitality just going to take it on the chin. Go ahead, save those guns. A few Desert Eagles sprinkled into this, but it should be the G2 conversion. Not to mention free AK, Galil for JKS. It's a great way for G2 to recover from the lost pistol. Although we haven't seen G2 play Nuke with this new lineup yet, it might be one of the maps they're most looking forward to playing. First of all, 
They got a Danish IGL. Second of all, they all get their spots. And they haven't had to interrupt the most kind of high impact and important ones for Modesty Hunter and Nico to play. Bar. Oh, was good. Bomb gets dropped. And that with it is the round. So G2, nice and easy. For a second there, Vitality's making everybody nervous. Very quiet outdoors. But then once the gunfight started, it's an easy wrap-up. Yeah, this will be a great litmus test for G2, playing on Nuke versus Vitality. Vitality clearly not having any problems with Spink so far, looking great. And then the, the fact of the matter is that this was one of the only other teams that could stand to like Navi's Nuke at the at last year. And basically a world beater nuke team right here that they have to go up against. So this would say a lot if they pull off a good CT side even. See if JKS gets tested. Bodies grouping up here from Vitality. Sure enough, here it comes. Easy first and second. Nice from JKS. Three kills, in fact. A solo hold inside of ramp. Zaiwu will eventually get by him. Apex gets domed by Nico outside over the top of Silo. And so Zaiwu is going to need the ace if he will pull off this miraculous round win. Hell, even a bomb plant would be something. So he fake plants the first time, and the decon swings the end of that. Ooh. JKS with the ramp delivery. Maybe that's why he wanted a little change of scenery. I, I, I can see, I can see he likes these angles. That's a real nice spray. We have got shades of Hunter right here with this 3K M4 from above, and that's pretty much the whole round. And it just frees up space here for Nico to take an easy shot. Well, a Nico shot, not easy for most, <laughs> and uh, make sure that that round is over with. So vitality back to the pistols. Time we saw them slow play it. Nico's already spotting presence. Apex wants that headshot, but Nico jumps across the gap. A couple of minute chances. At least pushes Nico back a bit. But where's the jump? Pickups easy. Team Vitality. Oof, there it is. Hello. Again, trying to make the most of these rounds where they have so little to work with. No mini player just yet. Nico's about to slide through it. And Sphinx has found a chance to press up against it. Nico doesn't come fully forward to clear this, and that puts Hooksy into the line of sight of Sphinx, who will be cut down by Nico. Reloads good, and Nico's even better. <laughs> Three kills, nice headshots. Yeah. But again, just like the last time, right? It's all silent and creepy and high tension until <laughs> everything just goes well. Yes. Yeah, that is, that is the name of the game of the Deagle. Sometimes it, it can be a little bit dry oh, to watch, but ratty. wow, what, a, what an angle. What an angle. I want to see these taps. Okay, that's nasty. Shroud level. Shroud level with the taps. Were you around to see Shroud's 1v5 versus netcode guys on Nuke? Was that when he was playing for Mama Jumas? Mama Jumas. <laughs> you know Mama, Mama Jumuma? Yeah, Mama. <laughs> yeah, Mama been shopping. That was Mana Jumas. Okay. <laughs> it was close, bro. Mama Jumas. Daddy Jumas. Rose Mama Jumas. <laughs> New job is. They're about to walk out through that hut, aren't they? Hooksy, he's under pressure here. He's been smoked off. Or rather, Monacy had from Mini. So Hooksy was very much on his own there. Wasn't able to deliver a kill. So the follow-up Molotovs to just keep anybody else at bay. Monacy with the retake smoke in position. Him and JKS looking to come through heaven, perhaps. Okay, Monacy might be setting up for a flash here. So he's far back, but... With the smoke down, it's just vision so obscure. They counter the pay can smoke and Apex shuts down the flank. This is where you call it quids. So Hooksy and uh Hooksy and Hunter fall like a couple of dominoes. And that's when it's just uh, a little bit too hard. 
Another thing that, that's interesting, I guess, is, is for Vitality on their CT side, even though they were world beaters on Nuke, one of the big problems for them was when they were, they were using shocks. Um, so they, they had Masuda and um, I keep thinking Nevera, not Nevera, who, who came, Kyojin. Masuda and Kyojin playing upper, and that just wasn't working out. And they were still good enough to like beat really good teams on the map. But after that didn't work out for a, for a while, they had Shocks come in and play mini, and then they had Masuda stay upstairs. And their upper side was always still a little bit weak. Spigs coming in from ends, he actually played the upper side. So if he slots in, I wonder if that's going to be an upgrade for their whole setup entirely, or if he's going to play a new position. All right. We've seen it. Hooksy was tested in that last one. Targeted by Apex as he came out from the hut. Oh, quick smash by the looks of it. Lickety split. Hooksy going to deliver from behind the blue box. Magis predicting that push through. Ready for the fight. JKS in from heaven with Ooh. a double kill. That's what's going to keep this equal. Monacy and Nico looking to skewer vitality. Oh. Same paint can smoke, but they're, remember, they caught Nico on this exact same flank last round. Yeah, Dupree seems less ready for it. Whoa, yep, okay. Indeed. Apex recovers, gets Whoa. dinked in the process. Can he best Monacy with 10 HP? Monacy out in the rafters, standing in the open, and Apex <laughs> so close, but no cigar. It's Monacy to clutch and give G2 yet another. He was just tracking it back, maybe getting back into heaven, maybe going down to the ramp, who knows? Maybe checking outside a little bit later on. And Apex nearly found that timing, but didn't have the health to make the kill happen. So what a rotation from JKS up into heaven just in time as the exec is coming out. I mean, we're seeing CTs die left, right, and center, and JKS is already at the ready. So I think he made a start a turnpike there. I don't know, but that was a great rotation from him. Keeps the money alive for G2. Gun round still flowing for Vitality. Fun T side so far. Let's see what happens outdoors. Apex, little charred, and then shut down. Nice kill from Monacy. This Monacy Nico Hunter setup outdoors slash minis. It's scary. Yeah, horrifying to fight against. Zaiwu down to nine health. Wow. Another follow up here from Monacy. So the op asserting dominance outdoors. And that's going to send Vitality reeling back into the lobby, scattering like rats. Another map debut, another great start here for G2. Still a couple good rounds for Vitality that they've won so far. But not quite comparable to the slobber knocking that we had on Vertigo. Mm -hmm. Maniac called, Maniac called it sexy and nasty, I think. And I think Maniac knows a thing or two. Right. When it comes to Counter-Strike, calls it how it is. Looks like this one's going to fizzle out, though. Yeah, they just... Was I with this log? I guess, yeah, not even going to attempt to go for it. Fast forward. <laughs> right. Couple clean ones from Monacy. His land flicks look like online flicks. Is he just. You didn't even see the flick at the end there. I don't know how he does it. Yeah. AK upgrade for Nico, as if he wasn't lethal enough. And they'll hang on to those three guns. Monacy. Yeah, let's see if they go through some of the regular motions and, and just see if they can get to secret. That's sometimes yeah. square one. Really I mean, they literally have Zaiwu. Yeah. The only time they got down secret was in the pistol round when Zaiwu was able to cross. She's been facing outdoors instead. Oh. He was in full view for a second, right? I think he was behind the wall. Okay. Yeah, I was still lobby side. I see. Toying with the peak. Keeping Monacy. It's just one guy you can't shoulder peak. <laughs> yeah. Very on edge. Monacy waiting for it, but it's not coming at him. All right. Late take outside. Okay. Smoke's lined up. Here we go. Look at that. See how it goes down. We got JKS, in fact. Oh, cool. Yeah, because Monacy's off the ramp. Yep. So a little shift in positions there allows JKS to go through B into secret. See if they got a good flash for him. See if they can get to red. Apex making a ton of sound. Doesn't even clear it. JKS, element of surprise. Barrel stuffs him. Now it's the op of Monacy to be 
No, not tested. Looked like that party was coming his way. Instead, they're going to look to target Hooksy. Now we've got Nico on the floor of the A site. Hooksy right above the door. Should be a surefire frag from Hooksy. Hunter back behind Vent. 30 second mark. And Hooksy fighting Sphinx picks up the kill. They are just stranded. Oh, absolutely deleted. Couldn't buy an entry frag if they tried. Well, that was cool. I mean, they triple stacked upper and they had JKS as a difference outside. And then I think when JKS got the kill, they knew that Modesty was off in the ramp, so they didn't want to try to contact it. Going back into a different strat. Of course, he was very clearable in this spot, but, um, you know, you know they, they didn't throw any mollies inside of red to make sure he couldn't stand in that position. They didn't look for him. They wanted to take some kind of risk, and they picked the wrong one. So, rock solid CT side, G2. I mean, what a turn. I don't know what they said or what they did in between maps. Yeah, I really thought they checked out. After Vertigo, oh, okay. I was like, that was just, you know, you know, all the maps going on, we're always entertaining the thought that, okay, it's going to get better and whatever, but um, that was really weird. <clears throat> Sometimes this, it just doesn't. Yeah, this is a lot better, of course. You know, I'm thinking like, all right, it's a match that uh, doesn't necessarily mean you're at showdown, doesn't necessarily mean you're at finals. It would have been a very easy map, I think, to check out of. But check that out instead. This kid's pretty good. He is. Pretty, pretty good, I gotta say. And we've got JKS back to ramp. Newfound position, newfound angle. He's played this from, you know, a multitude of spots already. This one's very much committed, but they all line up, and it's another multi-case, multi-kill spray down from JKS made easy. Yes. Maybe he was made for the ramp all along. This is what he wanted. Get flicked on. Oh, no. Nico all already within double digits. And Hooksy's been able to offer you up some holds on the A site. Mm -hmm. The formula is working so far on Nuke. Yeah, definitely did get some good kills. Have they stuffed this off into Hut? Yes, they have. Which for some people would be limiting. To Monacy, it's invigorating. Point blank versus Debris. Oh, good trade. Oh, wow, where did though. he come from? Yeah, it was like he was above the ladder at one point. That is the kind of, that's a T-side teammate that you want. Sphinx just teleporting onto Dupree's dead body. Now they're thinking about the outer play. And this is a change of pace here, right? Because we've got a player down in secret in Nico, and, and Hooksy's, Hooksy's going to get pulled over towards Mini. Normally he's like in the depths of that bomb site or just on top of Hut. We'll see if he can help out Nico outside. Nico just waiting for that walk up. Crosshair place where it needs to be. Could be Zaiwu, the first victim. They both turn their heads. Oh, Nico keeps it sharp. And then Hooksy offers us a headshot point blank. Two kills from Hooksy. And that's exactly what Nico needs. Okay, yeah. A he's... double kill from each. Absolutely. He's got it. That's that's a nice setup right there. A nice insurance policy. And, and Hooksy was ready to, you know, swing on secret as well in case uh, Nico died. He dealt with the first threat accordingly. And here's Spinks. Oh, he's just coming down the ladder right there. So, yeah, really nice trade. But it doesn't amount to anything, of course. So they putter to a halt at the end. Nice ones from Nico. Solid rifle work from Hooksy. Fast wall of smokes and an attempt to test the B site, maybe. Let's see the protocols here from G2. We got Nico in the vent. Molly stopped him for a second. JKS still floating around in ramp until Monacy gets to position. Now that's a little something. Sphinx comes through with the Deagle headshot. Nico, ah, oh, stops the bomb with the sidearm. Just deletes him. <laughs> Everybody who got downstairs fed to the beast. And Nico on for the ace. He wants it bad, but Sphinx denies it. And three more frags for Sphinx to try and rally. He's got a lot of time to do this, but no bomb control. Only armor and an AK and a dream. Yeah, it's kind of a weird situation. Like, it's not out of the realm of possibility, even with where the bomb is, just because rotations downstairs, there's going to be fewer. But, you know, working his way out of vent, into vent, will be the hard part. And they've given him a little gap. There's the first frag. And I'm saying it's... 100 health. It's not impossible, but there it is, JKS. He appears nice. from nowhere. 
outside of mini takes care of the problem doesn't let him get down the vent and it's well handled here from nico as it should be he like triple digs him in the vent too <laughs> oh. <laughs> What? Zaiwu so smothered by that. So, another gun round out, but uh, damn, this is like watching the first half of Vertigo. Mm -hmm. Sorry, who picked what map? I know, right? Because uh, things are feeling a little upside down. Nico tearing it up now as well. You know, pads the stats a little bit versus the, the pistols last round, but still 17 kills, nothing to scoff at. Oh, and he sprays away into the smoke, finding Apex. Another 5v4 in another gun round. Yeah, he's having a bad game. Apex cannot get anywhere outside without getting killed or damaged severely. And they'll start the cross without him. They made some good progress and even scared Hooksy here. He doesn't want to take any stray bullets. Who's out in this position when they're already up a number? It's a bit of control to Vitality. Looks he makes an important rotation downstairs. So now he's going to run into two players if he pushes fat past, excuse me, but we'll see how he deals with this angle. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, right into Zaiwu though. So yeah. offers up the man advantage. Ooh, and Dupree <sighs> keeps it clean. Headshot to Monacy. Hunter going to be a little bit worried with the, you know, potential squeaky slash mini slash hut split, but it's just Spinks hyper passive in the back of lobby. Very much tucked in here. So the B site's under question. But Magisk is actually doubling back. They just threw the decon Molotov and Spinks patience pays off. Catches JKS. Hunter tucked into the vent. He's going to hear a bunch of movement all around him. The flash lands on him. He gets Magisk going for more. It's a ton of damage versus Zaiwu, but Nico's still downstairs. Maybe because of that decon Molly. Either way, going to be tough for Nico to get anything done with 15 health. So Vitality squeezing a third round out of this first half. Yeah, and it's a good looking one. And it has been, to be fair to them, really hard to kill Monacy. I think he's just been quietly climbing the scoreboard, using super tight angles and hitting really fast shots. And that's just been... A sick combination, honestly, like in terms of stopping outside presence. On top of Nico, who sometimes he's getting 80 damage, Nico's just getting the remaining 20, you know, with his perfect timing. And here Dupree just pieces him up from way in the back and uh, leaves Nico in a position where, okay, yeah, he's 15 health, could have rotated up or whatever, but it, there was just, they, they just didn't even know where Vitality wanted to end. A well orchestrated round here from Vitality. And a third. And I mean, this is a 10-3 half, but a 10-5 half and a... Uh, CT is one thing. They got all their spots. We know that they're happy with that. That's They've proved that already, that that's working, but um, T-side, we don't know. And with Nico dropping bombs, a lot of these rounds have been kind of made easy. However, I will still just give him the credit, right? After that first map, it's just excellent to see G2 even keeping something competitive. I'd also like to say, I think incorporating Monacy into a lot of these forward aggressive picks is just not something that we saw before as much. And again, that's something that I've always felt like with him. He should be just, you know, as aggressive as possible, really, with how good he is. And uh, it's good to see that happening. I think Hunter said that Hooksy is forcing him to. Nice. Rule with an iron fist. Quiet one from Vitality. Nico's starting to look around red box, seeing that outdoors is, in fact, clear. That should be the red flag for everybody else on their bomb sites or ramp. Nico, he's going to find him throwing nades if they're not fast enough. Well, time tier from Nico. That's going to interrupt the execute now. They're going to be going in with less utility than they expect. Not ideal. Still, bomb site set ablaze. Top position from Hooksy is good for the headshot. Spinks quick trade. Hunter, top of hut. He is known to the T side, but nothing they can do. He swoops down and finishes Apex. That's incredible. Yeah. Zywu gets nailed by the nade. Oh, he lands his shot into JKS, but it's not a kill and therefore not a clutch and therefore not a round win, at least not for Vitality. Yeah, good rotation there. Nice job from Hooksy dodging the flash, getting his kill. 
and allowing Hunter to get his as well. And the conditioning as Nico finally takes all the space back outside after they have tried to pummel Vitality over and over again. And credit to Vitality for being adamant about getting control out there first, but they did lose a lot of rounds not getting the kills. And that's represented in Apex's score, you know, who's one of the guys who goes out first there a lot. And uh, finally, they come through with the full flank at the perfect time when the smokes come out, but no one's there. Apex trying to make this one a bit quicker. He's got Zywoo to support him. Nico, nasty spot. Sure enough, Apex just kind of crawling around in the smokes. And there's at least the trait, so Zywoo's presence known. And impact felt. Posts up on the secret peak, predicts JKS, reads him like a book. And now we've got Team Vitality with a rare occurrence. Man advantage, Hooksy just getting ahead of that scope. One second too late, and Hooksy is splattered inside Mini. Instead, he gets the dink versus Zywoo, takes him down to 10. And that's going to make things a little bit more uncomfortable. Can Hunter deliver? Yes, door swung, Sphinx dead. Flash for the cross back. Duel versus Magisk, Bomb Plant safely tucked on the other side of the silo, predicts the peak, but doesn't spray it into Dupree. Still, two of the remaining three, very tagged up for Vitality. This is not a comfortable post plant for them. Mind you, not a comfortable retake either. Hunter low, wow. Hooksy dead, and Monacy also 68 HP. Saiwu popping off with that op. Magisk watching two separate sides. That's going to allow for Hunter to get close. Guns him down point blank, but time is the biggest issue. And we saw last map, this retake attempt never even come through. So one more added to the tally for Vitality before they switch to the CT side on this offensive half. So a pistol could definitely make a difference here for G2. Make things far easier. Assuming, of course, they've got a T side to offer us. Ooh, they're heavily stacked, waiting for this exact play that's coming their way. Sphinx on hut, Magisk back vent. Apex oh, to be tested. Fake. Yeah, it's a run over towards the ramp. Apex gonna go all the way down. And it's a good call, because that pack of players was looking ferociously for him. Zywoo waiting for the Nico lurk. Hooksy gets tagged up, Sphinx goes down. Great damage here from Apex. Oh, but Hunter, he's got himself a second kill. And Nico starts to sprint away. Matt just gonna have to clear the corner. Hooksy could be dead, but no, instead Ooh. he delivers. And that's Hooksy continuing a trend here across Nuke, keeping things positive. Zywoo, Beretta's connects to the head of Hunter. He's got 20 health left over. He's got JKS in the rafters, and Nico eventually coming down that ramp to try and hold off on this B site. A kit? No. Dupree has the flash. Zywoo's got the firepower, but Zywoo also not much health. Dupree's got the kill. The trade frag's there. Nico looking for his 22nd kill in 16 rounds, and he may not even need it. The time decides. It's 12 for G2 and an easy T half, perhaps. Played well, perfectly. And yeah, eyes drawn to these uh, hooksy frags that are coming in. Very impactful. Apex did a lot there. I mean, he got like almost three gushes off, it's all like, but then he still overfaced a little bit instead of holding on to control side. So, you know, he felt like the kill was coming. He wanted to commit and, and grab that. And Zywoo almost made up for it. Getting the assist, of course, in the kill feed, but Nico locks it up in the 1v2. Well done. And those two last players, JKS and Nico, were had gone unnoticed at that point, so it was hard to find him. They had not killed anybody. That's why I was checking the flank. So, G2, wow. Are they... Are we watching the makings of a clean nuke? Off the back of a world-class Nico showing. Quick cross down secret. He's not alone. Got a whole pack of players right behind him. Looks like for Vitality, there will not be any rotations as they wait and hope that the round ends upper, even though they know there's outside presence. And with the bomb on Hooksy, of course, you don't want to let that get too far, but they've got Monacy right behind him, majority downstairs, and a way to actually kill the CTs, even in a post-plant situation, 
With two players holding down the extremities, waiting and listening. Yeah, just, just waiting and waiting. And this waiting game, not going to net Vitality the win at this point. Bomb being planted. Ooh. <laughs> Honestly gets uh, tagged up in the side. But this could also just be a very easy save. Take everything you invested into this and just move it into the next one. Assuming they can get past JKS. Dupree, good trade. It's going to give a Galil over, so even more to be saved. Quite quite the little collection of goodies that Vitality can hang on to. Yeah, it's not bad. It's really just the round score at the top. If this is just the start to a half, like the beginning of the game, this would be a very decent start for Vitality. But they're in critical round territory where the buying decisions can get a little funky. You might feel like you've just got to buy now. We'll see how they treat it. But they've also got enough guns to recycle. So, very solid anti eco here from G2 as they quietly go outside. Clandestine operation, getting into lower, keeping a couple waiting on the in the periphery and ultimately locking it down, getting the info, getting the kill. Just dropping one Khalil over. Sometimes a gift. Man, what a total turnaround. Might not even see a rifle in this half for Vitality. We'll see. I guess next round, no matter what, but. No ops. Probably some other concessions. So I'm hopeful that one of those three dozen deagle shots is going to connect. Nobody even crossed just yet. Bit of a ruse. Saw Apex have to fall back in the pistol. Well, it's going to be a scout versus four. Shot off the mark. Second shot also missed. And very quick, he falls back down into this B site. He's not alone. In fact, he's going to play behind the silo. So we'll see if they get given a challenge. They've done enough to scare him back. Now he's kind of locked in here. Can't retake up the ramp again. But there are still three upper from yeah, up, the CT side. Up until that point, it really was just the pistol round, rinse and repeat. Now, but. we saw time trouble for G2 in a couple of positions. I feel like they're moving with a little bit more purpose here on Nuke, but clearly there are still some growing pains. Yeah, and now we're passing 30 seconds. Could be a factor. Unless Nico just comes through mini and dices them up. Sphinx, ooh, that Galil coming back to haunt G2. Sphinx, Sphinx. with three kills off the Galil. And then Dupree's going to deliver the MP9 frag. That leaves Monacy in a one versus three. And unfortunately, again, it's that clock that really does come back to haunt them. Monacy's going to try. They line up for him. And at this point, just go for the save. So Vitality, they're going to hang on a little while longer. Why? Because Spinks connects three. He does, man. That was him on a swivel. Spinks on the lazy Susan. Spinning around, taking him out. And it's with his Galil that he picked up off JKS from the last round. Call him industrious. Saw the leg there of Hunter. Just a second or two too late. Disgusting trades. All headshots too. And that little bit of leverage allows us to see a full buy with an off in play and some money left over. All right. So, a skinny margin of error for G2 to work with. Hunter down first. Hooksy. Ooh, he goes for that. Commits. Scary moment when he has to push through the smoke. Ooh, and a missed shot from Zaiwu. He just missed. Simply missed. Doesn't happen every day. Magisk also killed right in front of Sphinx. JKS going to be flirting around in the lobby. Three players downstairs for that B hit. Yeah, and there's no other rotations. Wow. Should, yeah, save. This is hard. I mean, it's such a hard rotation, especially with ramp getting taken and outside on the cross. They let go of the two routes to lower, which means they themselves don't have access to it. Now, they could go for the vent drop in one situation, but they were not in a position to get there. So, let's see. 3v3 on the retake. Uh, Spix could potentially win this, but Nico in the game he's having, 24 and 8. God damn. Feeling like 20 headshots at least, and uh, yeah, no chance to get back into this. So, instantly, G2 still at back after a worrying round where it felt like things did not look right on an anti-eco where the clock was starting to play a factor, but it really was just Sphinx who did so much in that position. And yep. Yeah. You know, there are shortcomings to be expected. It's kind of the picture we wanted to paint with this being G2's first showing on Nuke. New in-game leader. 
knew everything, but Hooksy, you know that one's got him sweating. Takes a big risk going for the Apex trade, but he finds it. And, yeah. you know, that, that could also have been a different situation had Zaiwu been able to connect that shot. Mm -hmm. And actually, Apex has taken over Masuda's position inside of uh, Ramp, where he ended up getting moved to. But I think they might change it up depending on if Zaiwu's there opping, if Apex goes outside, which he'll sometimes do on the search. Hunter ahead of the smoke. There's nobody even here to hold it. Apex plays down. Oh, oh, that is a heartbreak. That's a death sentence right there. JKS finds it through smoke. Magisk put on ice by Nico. Apex drawn into the gunfight. Only Zaiwu so far able to deliver anything in round 20 for Vitality's favor. And by the time he does it, things seem slim, but Sphinx wants to get aggressive. He's already turned one round upside down. Looks to do it yet again. And luckily for him, the pieces are falling into place. He's got Nico low HP, you'd think, easy duel. He's got Monacy on 80, which means the M4 is at no disadvantage. It really boils down to the timing on this. Yeah, and it looks like they actually might be going towards ramp, so it could turn into a Sphinx flank. He sees one. It's actually not clear if Nico saw him as well. It certainly feels like it, but yeah, he did. Okay. <laughs> Oh, they cover him perfectly. Nicely done. They exchange glances. Wow, what a shot from Zaiwu. Poor Hooksy. Splattered. Oh, Zaiwu gets down into the pocket. Deagle's out. A little bit of damage, but a little jump sends the crosshair off. And G2 just more and more winning ways. What an absolute turnaround from Vertigo Oof. to a 15-5 scoreline here on Nuke. Yeah, absolutely. And a great kill from JKS. And they're putting immense pressure on the ramp. They're just running through the smoke. They're trying it over and over again. I think they're sensing, you know, a little bit of a, a lack of experience here in this position. Um, I can't really remember how much Apex would have taken over ramp in uh, their previous games, but there are situations where people get shuffled. Either way, they like the fight. You go with the front of red. We got nobody watching outside, so no pressure whatsoever to try and cut off anybody for that cross. Apex downstairs, Magisk skirts through vents, but that's just the Desert Eagle. That's a singular, I think, flash. Yep, between the two. I mean, no utility, barely any guns. This is just such a desperate spot for Vitality. Nothing to lead you to believe that G2 won't be able to just close this in a commandeering 16-5 fashion. Nico at the front, put him in the front, and watch what he can do. 26th kill in an instant. 27th, just as easy. And b site cracked wide open. Zaiwu deleted as Hooksy gets an insta headshot as well. Channeling his inner Nico. And everything just falls into place. Absolute respect to G2 to come back 